Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I am working on a little Christmas quilt along. This is the third video and there will be the videos listed in the playlist, Christmas Quilt Along 2021. So we've done two blocks and I'm making each block twice except for one. So there's seven different sampler type blocks in my plan. You're quilting along with me. The quilt is not finished. I'm working on it and if you like, you're joining me. And this is the alternate block that we'll be working on today. This block needs to be made 12 times if you want to make the quilt that I have planned out. So let's get started on this really simple little block. Let's get started. Here are the fabrics I have chosen for this alternate block. I'm going to use that pretty green and a background fabric. And for this block, it's a very simple block a nine patch and sometimes it's called an uneven nine patch because the patches are not all the same. So for the green I need a three inch by five and a half inch strip four times. So I need four three inch by five and a half inch pieces. And like I said earlier for my quilt I am making 12 of these blocks so that I can alternate and I'll stick in a picture right here of my plan. You can see how that simple nine patch really makes a nice alternate block with all of the sampler blocks. I would call this little nine patch kind of a boring block because there isn't a lot of activity going on in this block but you can see the other blocks that we'll be making they are busier blocks i'll call them and it kind of helps them shine we don't want to compete with all those pretty sampler blocks so this one is a very simple block and super easy so the background i will need four three inch squares and out of a strip of a th three inch by the width of the fabric i was able to get three sets of those three inch squares for my 12 nine patch blocks. And for the background in the green, you'll need about a half yard if you want to make 12 blocks all the same. And then for the center of my quilt block today, I need one five and a half inch square. So I cut a big strip because I know that I want 12 of those five and a half inch squares for my 12 blocks. And I think I'll probably need a couple of five and a half inch strips to get those 12 squares. Then I just laid everything out with my green strips and my background squares and I sewed it all together. So I will go ahead and make 12 of these blocks so that I'm ready to use them when I have all my sampler blocks ready to go. Thank you for joining me in this little quilt along and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask down in the comment section. I love hearing from you and I like seeing what you're making. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.